welcome to the channel this setup is really amazing i should pre even put my fairy lights on let me do that penyo where are you come home come home everybody wants to see you no you're not in the front okay guys no chance welcome to my channel guys it is 10 p.m at night and i'm super active i had these bananas left oat bananas and i thought wow i have to do a banana bread and we're going to use the first time in my life the omnia to bake a cake or a banana bread so i'm super excited you know most of you probably know this article already if you don't know it's some kind of a super hyped van life kind of form that you can use just on top of a stove and just bake with it because it gets super hot let me put that coconut gel away let me put that cheese away i was snacking but let me just snack again because i'm actually really hungry I didn't really eat. <laughs> Let's get started. I don't know how many times some people outside mistaken me for oh, girl, because of that lie. <laughs> I have this bowl and this tiny tiny whisk because you know everything is in here very tiny. We're going to add the dry ingredient first. 250 grams of white normal purpose flour. I did made a hole here. I, I tried to, to glue it together, but um, never mind. So we're gonna put 250 grams. I mean, it's not too bad if I put a little bit more or less weight. I mean, I think that's enough. It's gonna be a, <laughs> it's gonna be a free cooking then we have one teaspoon of baking soda one teaspoon of baking soda oh gosh i'm making my whole bed dirty half a teaspoon this is half a teaspoon of cinnamon ground cinnamon oh i love cinnamon i love banana bread i actually did it only once in my lifetime so this is the second time i'm doing it but this is the first time me doing it inside of the <laughs> inside of the van oh there is a mosquito inside of here Wait, let me, let me just get that mosquito. Ah, got it. No, didn't get it. Help me, attack the mosquito. Half of, half of the salt is going on the side. This much. I love this. This is like the Ameri what American use, you know? Normally we don't use tablespoon, teaspoon, but um, I guess it is what it is. And we're gonna mix it all together. Oh, I can smell the cinnamon already. I love cinnamon. I am... Good. I'm sort of good at baking, but also sort of not really good. About 120 grams of butter. I'm just gonna use all of it. It needs to be room temperature, so it's super soft and we can whisk it. Because we have to do it all by hand. I don't have a hand mixer. So we have to do everything by hand. Make sure it's unsalted butter though. Then we have brown sugar. Mm. We're gonna use about 150 grams. We're just gonna stir all the butter with the sugar so it becomes a creamy mess. Normally I would use a normal whisk and not a tiny tiny hand whisk. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm wearing a big sweater. It's kind of hot inside of here. I need some air. Let me just open the window but it's super dark outside. Smell it. What do you think about it? What do you think about this? <laughs> I've been sweating guys, I've been sweating. And we're gonna use two eggs. First one. And from all that stirring I get like a, a cramp in my arm. Oh, it smells already so good and so creamy. I love it. Let's open it with one hand. She's a pro. <laughs> Second egg. Let's get him. Let's get it. Oh my god, you have no idea, guys. I have been in this area surfing skating and doing all these stuff because I told you I'm not so much into traveling right now I just really want to do what makes me happy learning to skate and to surf and on a proper way some people obviously think oh you know your content gets boring or whatever but my life is not content 
my life is real. Like this is my life. I'm not doing that for YouTube. Like I literally live my life. Oh my god, that is so. It smells so good. It's so creamy. It's almost like a frosting. It's so fluffy. We're going to add some yogurt or some cream fresh. I have some cream fresh here in the fridge. <laughs> okay, we have some cream fresh from France. We're gonna add about 80 grams. It would be probably like this much. It's such an interesting combination. Now we have our dry ingredients, our wet ingredients, you know, it's always the thing. You mix the dry ingredients with the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients with the wet ingredients. Now we have the best part, the bananas. They were inside of the van for a couple of days, but because it gets so hot inside of the van, they didn't really last that long. I didn't manage to eat them all, but I think it's such a great use to make banana bread when there are actually you know, that's soft and you normally don't like to eat the banana anymore and you're kind of like, uh, they kind of taste gross or whatever. We use in total four bananas. This kind of looks weird now. <laughs> Look at the mess. It kind of went a bit lumpy. How am I gonna combine that? It is so much mess. Oh, guys, you know what I forgot? I forgot like vanilla vanilla extract what if we add some coconut to it do you think it would make like a kind of a banana coconut twist shall we just risk it instead of vanilla i like to experiment let's do it i have some coconut milk left from yesterday i'm just gonna add a little bit now we're gonna use a handful of walnuts and a handful of pecan nuts chop it up so who actually makes cooking videos at 10 p.m.? I'm telling you guys, sometimes I get this rush and I'm so hyperactive at night, it's insane. So we chopped in just roughly, you know, not too small. Guys, I'm back. I had to change outfits. I was sweating too much in my other sweater. I got this affordable bucket. Normally I would never use that for cooking, but I have a really strong feeling that mixing those two together is just gonna be too much it's just too much okay and we have these sweat ingredients i'm scared guys i'm so scared oh gosh ew <laughs> it's kind of weird to cook in this bucket what is going on <laughs> i mean the thing is it will taste amazing it's just weirdly prepared you know because i don't have that many equipments kind of looks good and we have the banana pieces inside you see it so we do not over mix it but it looks already pretty good and we're gonna add the nuts inside and the pecan nuts i feel like i want to add a little bit of oil because i like to add some normal regular oil to my baking stuff because they always keep it so moist trust me whenever i bake carrot cake or any kinds of cakes and i add a little bit of oil or whatever it keeps the paste so moist let me have a little taste it's just weird that i'm preparing this in this bucket i really washed it a lot but this is normally a bucket i use to <laughs> clean my feet <laughs> but i clean it so yeah it's gonna be all right at the end we're still van lifers right i'm gonna just taste a little bit of it You have no idea. You have no idea. We are going to use this thing now. So we have these different layers inside of the baking thing. I should have used butter, but I don't have butter here right now. So I'm just gonna use that. Should do the same job. Mm. I'm this person who, who keeps snacking on things till you're not hungry anymore. I hit your phone and never work until it's you and me Cause you know you don't wanna bring it to the jewelry Oh my gosh! I'm so excited! You can eat the banana bread with a little bit of honey or jam Or some Nutella eventually Do Americans have Nutella actually? Do you have it over there? 
It's like a chocolate cream, Nutella. Oh my god. I feel like it's gonna be so delicious. I mean, it's much easier if you do it at home, but doing it in a van is like such a different level. But I'm gonna put it on lower heat. And now we just wait. It's already 12 o'clock at night. And um, what I realized with that cake form is if you have the heat on too hot, it will burn underneath quite fast. Although the top is still not kind of ready, but I'm really amazed that it actually still worked. I already had a little snack. I had it about on the stove for like, 40 minutes or 30 to 40 minutes on low heat to high heat i wasn't sure you know because it's the first time trying um i would say the the, the bottom is definitely burned a little bit it's a little bit burned i think you can see that just slightly you can almost not taste it and if you just turn it around like that it just looks amazing my tip for the stove is just have it really on low heat and just let it cook or bake very slow and um, not rushing it because otherwise you will get the same result like me wow have a look it's so soft and moist it really tastes good mm. i can't believe i'm eating this at 12. i feel like my eyes are falling asleep i'm still super surprised how good you can bake with the omnia form it tastes amazing and i never thought i could bake anything inside of my van anyway guys um i'm gonna finish this up and then just fall asleep and tomorrow have some more for breakfast let me know if you want to see some more cooking stuff or whatever you want to see and yeah i'll see you very soon by the way if you try that cake you gotta tag me or send me a picture that you did it bye acting like it wasn't your wife it's not mine you ain't been in my zip code in a long time And your friend said I was the wrong guy But you forgot why, so it's alright I ain't saying that I need you back